Welcome to the OptiCross Preparation Setup. In this video, we will walk you through the techniques and steps to prepare the disposable sled, MDU, sterile bag, and catheter for use, as per the instructions for use. Start by placing the sterile bag over the motor drive unit, aka MDU. This step requires a sterile and non-sterile operator. The non-sterile operator opens the pouch containing the bag and, using sterile techniques, the sterile operator grabs the bag from the pouch. The sterile operator should unfold the bag, ensuring the This Side Up sticker is facing upwards. The sterile operator should then slide their hands into the most inner folds of the sterile bag. Have the non-sterile operator place the MDU into the innermost fold of the bag, aligning it with the This Side Up sticker. The sterile operator will grab the MDU and ensure it's secure in their hands. Using the white strips, the non-sterile operator can then unfold the bag to its full length, covering the cable of the MDU. The sterile operator should then slide the bag over the MDU to bring the bag's faceplate closer to the catheter connection nose of the MDU. Attach the bag's faceplate to the catheter connection nose of the MDU, ensuring there is no material trapped in between. Once the sterile bag is in place, attach the MDU to the disposable sled. This should be done prior to the use of the Optocross catheter. Tilt the MDU towards the bottom last side of the sled and press the MDU down firmly against the bottom of the cup to engage it into the bottom latch. Ensure there is no material trapped in between. Verify the bottom latch is flush with the MDU cup. Ensure the MDU engages into the sled cup and pierces the sterile bag. Do not proceed unless both the top and bottom latches are flush with the sides of the sled cup. The liquid crystal display lights on the MDU may illuminate, but if the MDU is not properly latched, pullback will not occur. Verify that the system shows the sled is connected. The MDU and sled are now ready for use with the catheter. Let's move to the flushing of the catheter. This portion of the preparation requires all the accessories provided with the Optocross catheter and heparinized saline. Flushing of the catheter must be performed using sterile techniques. Remove and discard the blue shorting plug from the catheter connection if the catheter comes with one. Fill the 3cc and 10cc syringes with the heparinized saline using a pumping action that helps release air bubbles that might be present in the syringes. Connect the syringes to the three-way stopcock and extension tube, ensuring all air is expelled. Retract the movable imaging core completely to the proximal position by carefully opening the telescoping shaft. Connect the extension tube and syringes to the catheter. The 10cc syringe can be used to refill the 3cc syringe as needed. Using slow, steady pressure, flush the catheter twice to purge bubbles. You want to see a drip of liquid from the tip of the catheter hoop, not a spray. Use the 10cc syringe to refill the 3cc syringe for the second flush.
carefully transfer the catheter and syringes to the patient table. Remove the sticker from the catheter connection. Align and connect the catheter hub to the MDU until it clicks into place. Tug on the catheter hub to ensure it is secured with the MDU. Ensure that the system has recognized the correct catheter. Carefully remove the catheter from the sterile hoop dispenser coil. Activate imaging by pressing the button on the MDU and then carefully close the telescope using both hands. This step is key to help reduce the occurrence of air bubbles and image dropouts when the catheter is being used. The system will show bright concentric rings, confirming that the catheter is functional. Turn the imaging off. Carefully advance the MDU to the forward position on the sled and clip the proximal end of the telescope to the sled. Perform a final 3cc flush of heparinized saline. The catheter is now ready to use and follow the prescribed steps in the instructions for use to introduce the imaging catheter into the guide catheter. Proper preparation setup reduces the probability of air bubbles in the catheter.